uh, Zeno Straight Shaver on the Shaving Cadre forum. And for those of you that are following me on Instagram, Handle Barber Dave. Uh, today's video is kind of a mishmash of uh, videos that I've been wanting to make because I haven't had much time with, uh, with uh, Barber College, trying to become a master barber. Uh, shout out to everybody at Hollywood Barber College. Uh, but also, I recently, as some of you know, uh, celebrated my... 1,000th straight shave. And actually, as of today, I think we're at 1,026 straight shaves. So we're going to be doing a straight shave for you today. And uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody from the Shaving Cadre Forum for your continued support. My partners, C. Vargo, Chris, uh, uh, Chad, and Chris Lindsay, CBL, and myself, uh, we're very happy as owners of the Shave Cadre Forum. And we want to thank you each and every day for all the support that you give us. Uh, I do apologize that I haven't been on very much, but school has been been taking up most of my focus, uh, but we want to thank you once again uh, as we slowly but surely become the best shave forum on the internet. And then finally, I needed to do something because my beloved alumni, the Arizona Wildcats, once again in year two, uh, fell hardly and miserably to the Utah Utes. And as you can see, I am wearing a Utah t-shirt that was kindly given to me by C. Vargo. And I must now profess my love for the Utah Utes because they beat the Arizona Wildcats for a second year in a row. Uh, I did have to retrieve this from the duck cages as they use it for their excrement, but I did wash it beforehand. So, uh, Chad, there you go. I did it. I, uh, I grovel to you and the uh, loveliness of the Utah Utes. Uh, so uh, there you go, Chad. Uh, for the rest of you folks, we'll be back in just a second, and we're going to go ahead and review uh, recently the Holy Black, and again, a shout-out to the Holy Black Brotherhood, which I'm a member of, uh, came out with their annual Halloween release, and it was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and I'll show a picture of that uh, in the video as well, which is... Two separate scents, uh, the Dr. Jekyll side and the Dr. Hyde side. Hyde side. Uh, the Dr. Jekyll side is basically a very light, uh, wonderful scent, and the Dr. Hyde side is dark and deep with uh, smoky vetiver, deep, deep, deep amber, and so forth. You can use them separately, or you can actually use them together. What we're going to do over the next couple of videos is we're going to go ahead and review them individually. Uh, today we'll be using Dr. Hyde. A little bit later on, probably next week, we'll use um, uh, excuse me, we use Dr. Jekyll, and then we'll use Dr. Hyde a little bit later. And then on Halloween, uh, we will mix them together because it does come with a neat little pipette that you can mix all this stuff together. And the cool thing about it is this is Dr. Jekyll. Well, look at the size of this bottle. This is barrel-aged aftershave. Huge, huge bottle. Also, the Eau de Toilette, or EDT, comes in a nice bottle. And then, of course, the shave soap uh, comes in the typical quality uh, that uh, the Holy Black puts out. So Stefan and his guys over there just do a fantastic job. Uh, so we're going to actually bowl lather today in our Captain's Choice Bowl uh, because we don't use that very often. We'll also be using the Neptune Cleo. Uh, Ken and uh, his folks over at Paladin Shaving just continue to put out wonderful stuff. And then for this shave, I thought it was appropriate. We're using a vintage Boker tree brand straight razor with the ivory uh, bolsters and everything else. So it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, razor, and we're going to go ahead and be shaving with that. So we'll be right back to do the shave for you. Okay, folks, we're back. We're going to go ahead and bowl lather. Uh, I've, like I said, we're doing uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jekyll right now. So it's a really, really nice citrusy, but also some vetiver. Uh, some brighter notes and so forth. So we've just put a little snurdle in the bowl and we're going to go ahead and lather it up. And typical of the Holy Black, the comes together real fast and real easy. Um, it's always been wonderful. Their legendary Lavender Creeper and Tangerine Creeper go without saying as long as their standard scent, uh, the uh, Gun Smoke and Spice. But this was a very, very small amount and it's... Uh, loading up real easy. We'll add a little bit of water to the brush. Because like I said, I don't bowl lather that often. Uh, I prefer to face lather. 
So uh, in that sense, it's not too bad. Uh, things around the house, for those of you that uh, follow me on uh, the Shave Cadre, doing good. We did lose uh, one of our chickens to a hawk, we're thinking. Uh, but other than that, we're averaging about four to five eggs a day, so it's going pretty good. As far as barber school is going, it's going well. Um, we're doing a, a community service event tomorrow uh, for people less fortunate than us uh, on the, uh, at the taping of this video. It'll be on Monday. Um, and so it's going real well uh, on my way to becoming a master barber. Um, so we're just about ready on that. Uh, I do the barber shop thing and uh, try to replicate what it's like to get a shave in a barber shop. Um, so I do do the hot towel thing. So we'll do that in just a second. And I do do a little bit of a preface lather uh, in advance while we're looking away from the camera, obviously. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Excuse me. And I'll just take a little bit of the shave soap. And just rub it in the... The scent on this would probably be on the scent scale Oh, I'd give it a four. Uh, four, out, well, maybe a three and a half out of five. And basically what you're doing here is you're just getting the sebaceous glands to release some oil, soften up your beard uh, just a little bit and so forth. And then what I do, rather than the standard way of doing a hot towel, which would be like this, I just take the whole towel and do my Frito Bandito thing, as most of you know. Okay, and that's about all that's needed on that. And we'll go ahead and go right into lathering. Now I do cold water shave because it treats my face better. Um, but whatever turns you on. Oh, shucks, I got lather on the Utah shirt, darn. It's a very slick lather, typical of the Holy Black. Uh, goes on very, very easy and very voluminous, a uh, little bit of water. And she's pretty much done. Just clean up some areas real quick before we get started. And we're going to do a three pass shave today with a little bit of uh, cleanup. And here we go. It's very slick on the razor, um, not causing any hiccups at all. Very, very slick, very smooth. I know to some of you this could be rather boring, but hopefully for some that are straight shavers, it's not too bad.
Okay, that's pass one. We'll be back for pass two in just a second. Uh, pass one was very nice. Um, the fragrance has expanded a little bit. Now, on my second pass, this is a little bit different than most. I do my across the grain, but for most people, the way my whiskers grow, it's going to appear as if it's against the grain. But my third pass is my against the grain. And when I, since I spent so much time lathering on the first one as far as getting the soap into my pores, this one is mostly just paintbrush strokes. A um, little bit dry, but easy to rectify with just a couple of drops of water. Okay, so this will be my across the grain pass. And yes, I still do the Gillette slide with my straight razors as well. As with most of the Holy Black uh, stuff, except for their standards, uh, this release, uh, although they made 500, sold out in about a day and a half. Now, some people don't exactly like the way they market this like this, but I like it because it's exclusive. Uh, also, there was some uh, discussion and concern about the cost of this release. But you saw the size of the bottles and the presentation. To me, it was worth every penny. Uh, because this will last forever. I mean, it's huge. Okay, and there's pass number two. Uh, steady as she goes. We'll be right back with pass number three. Okay, we're setting up for pass number three. And this is my against the grain pass. And this is where I'll spend a little bit more time lathering uh, to get any of those final hairs. Because I'm pretty much close to BBS now. Uh, for those that don't know, that's Baby Butt Smooth. For those people on Instagram that are following me. And uh, the question is, why are you Zeno Straight Shaver on the Shaving Cadre Forum and Handle Barber Dave on Instagram? Well, I was on, obviously, when Shad, Chris, and I formed... The shaving cadre uh, I was not going to use the same handle that I had used um, over at the other place so I came up with something new I'm a huge science fiction fan and the xenomorph from alien um, is kind of how that all happened uh, handlebar Dave came because I as you see I wear a handlebar mustache I'm becoming a barber and my name is Dave uh, so we may incorporate those together at some point uh, on the shaving cadre and on uh, on continuing on Instagram, um, but we'll see at that time. So I had just a little bit of water for this final, this final pass, just to make it really, really slick. Oh shucks, more lather on the Utah shirt, and that's okay because it's going to be going back out in the duck, um, the duck cage here pretty soon, uh, Chad. So just so you know, but I do have to hand it to the Utes. They uh, they played very well. Uh, the game for the Wildcats was terrible. We suck. We have a new coach, uh, but they held on to the defensive coordinator from uh, Rich Rodriguez's days, which they should have canned a long time ago because our defense is just terrible. Uh, but hopefully in the next couple years, uh, we'll do, be okay. And of course, Chad and I will bet probably another again next year. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set up for our against the grain press, which is a little bit different than some.
And what you're seeing, I do have a wet sponge off camera that I wipe my blade off on each after each fast. Or I should say after each stroke. Or groups of strokes. So far, everything advertised about the Holy Black uh, Jekyll and Hyde is exactly as, uh, as it should be. It's wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay, that's pass number three. We'll do one little um, catch-up, uh, clean-up pass. Uh, just to get any errant whiskers that might be around. And usually with that, I just, and this is usually the only area that I have to do it in. Um, just to get a different angle uh, on the razor. And I do use buffing strokes. And that's it. Three passes with the Boker and the Hyde, uh, excuse me, Dr. Jekyll. I'll be back with uh, final rinse, aftershave, and eau de toilette. Okay, I'm doing my final rinse. And I usually leave my face wet because I put on um, the Lucky Tiger uh, aftershave vanishing cream. Uh, I found that it's just fantastic. And I'll just take a little bit and emulsify that in my uh, hands. It does have menthol, aloe vera, a mint to it, and it really just makes things wonderful. Um, and I'll mix it with wet water. Well, obviously water's wet, that was stupid. Uh, my face being wet is what I meant to say. And just rub it in, and then I'll follow this with a cold towel. Now, traditionally I'll have it in the refrigerator, but lately I haven't had a chance. So I call it my cold towel rinse.
and that really leaves the face feeling stupendous. I'll do a cold water rinse and then dry off. And what this does is it sets the face up for the aftershave really well in my opinion. Um, and as I feel around my face, just tremendous. Uh, for those of just uh, for those on the cadre, they know that I have dolphin smooth baby butt, and then I have Grail, and then one through ten. Uh, for those new, baby butt smooth just means you can't feel any whiskers in any direction, and it just feels like uh, a baby's butt. And uh, we are definitely in Grail territory today. I don't feel hardly anything. In fact, this could definitely be a nine or a ten. And the the fragrance of uh, of Dr. Jekyll is still just light enough. So we're going to go ahead and put the aftershave on now. Huge bottle. I don't know how big, uh, but it's a monster. Um, it does come with a cork, so you're definitely going to have to put your thumb over it uh, to not spill the lovely elixir contents. And you do need to shake it up um, because the uh, they don't use a huge emulsifying agent, um, which is good because it makes it pure. And these are all barrel aged, just like whiskey. Uh, and they're just tremendous. All of the stuff that Holy Black puts out, uh, whether you like their market or not, I personally like it. Um, so I'll just put a little bit of the aftershave. And once again, these are meant to be mixed if you want. I don't because I want to try this out separately. Good alcohol content. Not much sting. Very citrusy, but also deep. Uh, uh, very deep in its... Uh, complexity. This could be worn either summer or fall, uh, but it feels wonderful on the face uh, as far as the uh, aftershave is concerned. All I can say, guys, highly recommended um, any Holy Black stuff, even though you may not be able to get this. Um, you may be able to find this on the app, on, on the, the secondary market, but it's going to be hugely expensive. Um, so now we'll put on some of the Eau de Toilette. Or EDT, and I usually do what they call dotties. A little bit at the wrist. And don't rub this in, guys. Believe it or not, there is a chemical, a molecule structure bond for perfumes. Uh, put it on your heat spots, you know, your temples, uh, under your ear, stuff like that. Back of the elbow, front of the elbow, in the crease. Uh, and that's all you're going to need. Uh, you don't need... Uh, to, to do a bunch of it, and this stuff will last you forever. So, to my friends at the Holy Black Brotherhood, salute. Uh, to the members of the TSC or the Shaving Cadre Forum, thank you very much for everything you do each and every day to keep the Shaving Cadre going. And for those of you following me on Instagram uh, as Handle Barber Dave, I appreciate uh, all the uh, following. And once again, a big shout out to everybody at Hollywood Barber College. You have a great day.